Hey guys, it's Jpo here with the Purple Posy. And if you're new to my page, I'm Jpo. Jpo, and I'm the owner and artist here at the Purple, Purple Posy. Good Lord have mercy. And I'm also a brand new Dixie Bell content creator. And I'm also a co owner of Painting Over Borders, which is my fabulous tribe where we teach and hmm, what happened? I don't know what happened. We teach, we coach, we mentor over 120 creatives and creative business owners. And I do this with my fabulous partner in crime, Malia Klein of Russia Tree Market. Um, and so that's who I am. And I was just on a live for Dixie Bell in their group, the world of um, chalk paint, distress and decoupage what have you, and I was working on this buffet, and so if you're joining me and following me over here from there, appreciate you. If you're regular watching, appreciate you. If you're new to my page, appreciate you too. Appreciate all you guys. So I, I wanted to come on super quick. I have about 20-ish minutes before I have to go get my, my daughter from school to get out early today, Thanksgiving holidays and such. Hey guys. Um, I got distracted and missed the first part. Well, Stephanie, the first part to this buffet is actually in a separate group. And so you'll have to go over there and request to join. It's a Dixie Bell group, the world of chalk paint, distress, and decoupage, I believe is what it's called. And you can catch, I painted the entire buffet over there. And so now I'm here to finish it up and I'm gonna be using this guy. I'm using this guy. So about a year and a half or so ago, I discovered my faux distressing technique, which I've taught in the group. I have a tutorial on it. Um, I just did an online class where I taught it. I taught this in my in-person class. It's the number one question I get asked is how to faux distress because I, I don't wet sand and I ain't touching no sandpaper. I ain't doing it. Ain't nobody got time. So I, but I'm not gonna be wet distressing or faux distressing on this piece. I'm gonna do something a little bit different on it. And I'm gonna be using paint blue. Paint blue with my handy dandy palette knife. And it's a two inch stiff palette knife beveled on one side. So what I did is I just did a little boho blending. We've got in the navy, bunker heel blue. Wait, let me tell you right. Yeah, Bunker Hill Blue is down here. Let me put these lids back on. We've got In the Navy, which is up there. Hey, hey guys. And we've got Yankee Blue, which is in the center. And now we've got all the blues. We've got all the blues up in here today. I got the blues. I got the blues. Just kidding, I don't have blues. And now I've got Haint Blue which I've never used. Ah, didn't realize that, hadn't even opened it yet. I've got Haint Blue, it's like a super, like a white, whitish baby blue color. Haint Blue, check this out. Uh, so I'll be using that. Shake this up real good. So I like to, um, when I'm using my palette knife, excuse me, I just downed some of my monster. I'm like, usually by this time, I'm I'm already onto like another caffeine source. I'm still like, I got this much monster left still. I love paint blue, it's on my shop door. Oh, it is, that's right. When I'm using my palette knife, I use the lid. So I don't, I'm, I'm careful not to dip it too far into my paint. I can control how much I get onto my under my palette knife. Then, so the plans are, what I'm about to do is the paint blue on the palette knife, and we're just gonna go around the edges of the drawers just randomly, and there's gonna be no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it, and however it turns out, that's how it turns out. Because this is boho style, and it doesn't have to be perfect, which is why I love boho style, because I am so not perfect. Neither is my painting, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, the other plan is, is I'm gonna, I've never tried Would You Bend Moldings. Um, and so I'm thinking about trying the Would You Bend Moldings. I've got some, I've ordered some. 
I ordered the haint as customers requested and use it for blending with antebellum and color green. Ooh, I bet that is pretty. I bet that is beautiful. Um, so the plan is I might put some wood you bends here and here on the other other side and then possibly down here at the bottom just for a little and then my plan is to do just the tiniest I mean the tiniest bit of drippage I mean little just a little bit with the moonshine metallics in Pacific because it matches one of the blues perfectly my tops of my pieces I typically do chocolates or black smooth finish no matter how rustic or worn or weathered the bottom is I typically do a chocolate or a brown or a black top smooth that's just what I do however every once in a while I'll do a boho blend on the top and that's what I'm gonna do on this one I think probably what I'm gonna do is take the um, in the navy and the haint blue in the navy the whole thing and then have streaks of haint blue across it and just blend just blend and blend and blend and blend and blend that's the plan so let's get started because I don't have much time I've been talking your ears off I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you see not so much of me which is probably perfectly okay with you guys I'm going to grab a small um, Things called screwdriver just in case I need it for these drawers. Ugh. I've been going 90 miles an hour since I don't think I want so much of this paint blue like on the the frame of the piece so I'm gonna pull it out just like that all right here we go so when I use a palette knife, like I said, I use the lid. And I pinned a little, hey baby, hi honey. Mm. Um, I pinned a little linky poo there for you. You can find your local retailer or you can have your product shipped right to your door. Uh, I appreciate it if you use that, use that little link. Um, I use the lid, that way I'm sure not to get too much on my, so I can use like a little, an angle and I'm sure not to get too much of the paint on my palette knife mm, let's see I gotta turn this down I turn it up bright so you guys could see here we go I have the smallest amount on there actually it might be better there that's actually better all right so here we go I'm just going to take it and just drag this paint blue across the edges just for some just to lighten it up just a little bit because it's so dark and like I said there's no rhyme or reason I'm not I'm just going and probably with that moonshine metallic like I was talking about with the would you bend I'll do on these little key thingies they're not actually they're they're they don't go through so it's not like it's missing a key they don't even go through so if you're just popping on the first part of this buffet was painted in the world of decoupage what was see world of chalk paint distress and decoupage I believe is what the group is called so you can request to join it's a private group and you can catch that live video there that's pretty much part one and maybe maybe as a Christmas gift to you guys I'll paint this piece start to finish in here on my page I don't know, we'll see see how it goes I got about 72 projects going on at once so basically I'm just putting the smallest amount of this paint blue on and I'm just dragging it across and I don't care if it's uneven. I don't care that it's splotchy. Um, I don't care because it's boho, right? It's boho like J-Po. 
And once we get this first drawer in, we'll pop it in and we'll kind of see how it looks. If you don't like it, guys, it's paint. You can just paint right over it, right? Hey, Kelly. It is just paint, so don't freak out. You can paint right over it. Now, the only thing that stinks, I say that, the only thing that stinks is when you have a blend, like I've got on here, which I've done many times, I will, I will admit. I'll be into a piece and I'll do something to it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, God, I, I hate that. And I have to repaint it and it's got a blend of some sort on it. And I've got to re-blend, re, re which, you know, it's a process. I've done that many a time, many a time. Not a big deal. This piece I went, I probably had four different color combos lined up on the top of this piece before I finally decided. Oh, thank you, Malia. You're the best and I love you. Sometimes. Sometimes you're a pain. If you guys know Malia and I at all, you know we like to give each other lots and lots of crap. All right, so be sure if you're ever using the palette knife, which um, today actually in our in our little tribe, I'm teaching how to paint an entire piece with this only. Mm -hmm. Sure am. Sure am. Um, but make sure you have a paper towel handy because it will get gunked up. Uh, so you just want to wipe it off every once in a while. But uh, this piece will be looking for a forever home. Guys, I now have gift cards available on my website. If you know somebody that likes my stuff but just can't bring themselves to get it for themselves, get it, get them a, get them a gift card. That's a little stocking stuffer, right? Um, I think I might actually, <laughs> so funny, I think I might actually have somebody that I'm going to do that for. What, Malia, what? Are you mad because I'm telling them that we give each other crap? Or are you face palming because I'm promoting my gift cards? Or saying that I might buy my own gift cards for somebody? I mean, I only speak the truth. I only speak the truth. Y'all, it is so cold and windy here. I got the fireplace going. And I'm fairly certain the wind is just blowing the smoke right back down into my house. Pretty sure it's that windy. Okay, so I think that looks pretty stinking cool. I did this on myself. So let me push this back in. So I think I'm gonna like this once we get the second one. Let's go ahead and what time is it? Let's go ahead and do one more drawer. I don't want to be late picking up my kid. That would be horrible. Um, let's go ahead and do the second drawer. Both. Oh, God. Gotta market yourself. Come on now. Get on my level. Get on my level. Um, can you guys see that? It looks really cool in person. It, it looks white, but it's blue. It's a, it's a baby blue. Let's do this other drawer real quick. Takes no time at all. Takes no time at all. Okay, see, I got too much, so no big deal. Just wipe it off. So here's a white paper towel. Let me show y'all how blue it is. Uh, see, you can see the the blue, the color blue there against the white paper towel. It's, it's a baby blue. A baby blue. <clears throat> This is why I use a lid. So I can see what angle I'm going in on. I hope everybody has a fabulous Thanksgiving holiday, whether you're celebrating tomorrow or on a different day. 
We actually have Thanksgiving on two days. Um, tomorrow is my side of the family. Saturday is my husband's side of the family. So we have two Thanksgivings to celebrate. So whenever you're celebrating and whoever you're celebrating with, I hope it's fun, full of laughs and good food and good times and lots of memories. In case I forget to say so later, I wanted to just throw that out there. Because you didn't open. Shh, Malia. I was trying to not tell my husband that. I was trying to keep that a secret. He's only for like a minute or two, okay? Thanks for spilling the beans. I literally went in my daughter's room and was like, okay, your dad doesn't need to know about this. My little secret. Malia opens her big mouth. Yes, I forgot to open it for like a minute or two. Yes, we got a little smoke in the living room. God. Big mouth, Malia. Anywho. Anywho, I hope you guys have um, a great holiday. My poor husband has to get up like at 2 o'clock in the morning and start smoking a turkey. He a, he's like a grill master. And so... Um, he can smoke a turkey like, whew, so good. I can't wait. My girls will be cleaning the house because Olivia thinks that the living room is her play, playroom. And I'm fairly certain 90% of her toys are all over the living room, which is fantastic. Okay, so it's super heavy right there. I'm gonna leave it alone for just a second. Let it dry just a tad. For just a tad. And then I'm gonna go back over it um, after it's dried just a little bit. And kind of swoosh it this way and this way. But I don't wanna do it while it's too wet. If I do it while it's too wet, it doesn't give me a really cool look. It looks kind of funny to me. So I'm, I'm going to wait just a, just a hot second. Okay. Boom. Problem solved. There's my sister. Hey, Nicole. Uh, hey, Amber. What's what Thanksgiving is all about? Yep. No, we don't talk religion, especially with you. We don't talk religion or pol. I mean, not religion. I will talk religion with you, Malia. Not politics. But no, no religion or politics will be discussed. In this house we won't even go there we don't go there mm -mm. nope I still want to like everybody when they leave Totally digging it. Totally digging it. So does anybody do like the Black Friday shopping, like standing in lines, all that kind of jazz? Does anybody do that? I did it one year and I said never again. Never again. I'm all about Cyber Monday though. All about Cyber Monday. Let me pull y'all back. Let me pull y'all back from afar. Love it. Love it. I will say that, I totally dig it. Um, I've got junk all over the place, I'm trying not, not to knock over things. Hey Barb, I'm just wrapping it up though. Girl, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I gotta turn these, I gotta look 27, not 48. Turn my light up. Um, I like it. <sighs> gotta run, time to make collages. collages. Those things are so good. Send me some, okay? Um, all right, guys, well, I'm gonna let you guys go. I am gotta go pick up my daughter. And y'all have a great holiday. I don't think that I'll be on here much over the next few days. I'm probably gonna schedule some posts. Um, and I'm gonna be live in our group later doing a training. Like I said, I'm gonna teach these peeps how to paint a piece using only this baby right here. Mm -hmm. Only this baby, so fun. Um, so I'll be in there at 1.30 doing that. Otherwise, y'all have a fabulous Thanksgiving and I will see y'all when I see y'all and I'll jump on live maybe when I start to work on this piece again. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but you can catch part one of this buffet in Dixie Bell's page, the world of chalk paint, distress and decoupage, something along those lines. I don't remember the order, but you can catch part one of this of this um, piece in that group if you'd like to see it. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.